Hey guys, in this lesson, we're going to jump straight into how to wing sup. If you have never done any wind sports in your life, then this is the easiest, most accessible way to experience wind. Check out my previous episodes for everything you need to know from what gear to buy, how to fly a wing and safety. Before attempting wing supping, you should be comfortable paddling around on a sup while standing. It's essential to use a sup with a dagger board, otherwise you cannot track across the wind and you will get blown straight downwind. You can use any size wing, but I'd recommend using a small size as the big sizes can be quite cumbersome and you don't need that initial power to get up on the foil. I would recommend using a 4 metre wing in around 15 knots. It's really important to use a leash for both your wing and your board as both will fly off downwind faster than you can swim. The first thing to practice is paddling the sup like a surfboard. This is a really important skill as it enables you to get yourself back to the beach and back upwind. One top tip when paddling on the board is to flip the wing upside down and hook your feet on the leading edge. I would recommend starting out on your knees as it's much easier to balance whilst you're learning to fly the wing. From a prone position, push up with your hands onto your knees with your toes tucked. Make sure you're in the center of the board. Pull the wing in using your leash. If you need to flip the wing over, shuffle your hands to the end of the wing and use the wind to your advantage. Get the wing into the neutral position. Now move into the powered position by moving your hands underneath the wing and grabbing the power handles. Try to steer the wing above your head to avoid the wing tips catching on the water. If you've not seen it already, check out my video about how to fly a wing. Standing up tall on your knees will give you more space for the wing to fly. Avoid pumping and let the wing do the work. Try to steer the board across the wind using the leverage you can create, leaning on the wing and twisting your body. If you want to point the board further upwind, lean your weight back and pull the wing towards the back of the board whilst twisting your body into the wind. To go downwind, lean your weight forwards and push the wing towards the front of the board. Try to lean on the wing to create leverage and turn your body so it's facing further downwind. To turn around, bring the wing down into the neutral position and lean on the power of the wing to help you rotate the board. When you're halfway round, reach into the power position going the other direction. This will help you rotate the board and complete your turn. It is quite awkward trying to turn around a sup whilst holding a wing, and often it's easier just to sit down and paddle yourself around. Here's my five top tips for you to think about. Number one, lean on the wing to help you balance. Two, fly the wing above your head. The wind should always hit the leading edge first. 3. Use your rear hand to adjust the power and steer the wing. 4. Have a minimal open grip on the handles to avoid over-gripping and wearing out your forearms. 5. Face your body in the direction you want to go and use the leverage from the wing to twist your body and turn the board. Now let's look at standing up. Going across the wind in a kneeling position, shuffle your soon-to-be rear knee further into the middle of the board. This will help you balance when you bring your front leg through. Then lift your front foot through and place it nearer the center of the board, pushing up with your front leg to a standing position. Always bring your front leg through first and try to have both feet near the center line of the board. It will be much easier to balance on the board once you get the board moving through the water. Now let's look at how to turn the board around while standing. To turn the board into the wind, lean your weight back and pull the wing towards the back of the board. Use the wing's power to help you twist your body round into the wind. To turn the board downwind, move your weight forwards and push the wing towards the front of the board. Lean on the wing to help you twist your torso and turn the board. To turn the board around to go in the other direction, you can either turn the board into the wind, which is attack, or jibe the board by turning the board downwind. Use the wing's power to help you complete the turn. It's a bit awkward trying to turn an inflatable wing up, so be patient and remember you can always drop to your knees and paddle the board around. My top tip for you would be not to fight the wing, always try and use it to your advantage. Try to stay aware of your surroundings as you will drift downwind quickly. It's really good to keep an eye on the beach and have a plan as to how you'll get back safely. Now you know how to wing up, it's time to crack on with wing foiling. If you thought supping was fun, wait until you get up on a hydrofoil. In my next episode, I'll explain everything you need to know about how to wing foil. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode. Please like, comment and subscribe. Much appreciated. Peace out.